Local election officials across the country have received letters from the Public Interest Legal Foundation, a right-wing conservative group headed by a member of Trump's Election Integrity Commission, which is really a fraud commission, telling them to prune their voter rolls of voters who have died, moved, or lost their eligibility or face a federal lawsuit. Of course, this has been happening all across the South. In fact, uh, this particular group has been targeting uh, small locales in Mississippi doing just that. Is this about voter suppression or voter integrity? Well, the Brennan Center and the Lawyers Committee for Civil Rights Under Law have joined forces to fight this group. Here to discuss that is Christian Clark, President and Executive Director of the Lawyers Committee for Civil Rights Under Law. Now, Christian, um, I read a previous story with this group. They were targeting these small, small places who could not afford to fight them in court. Right. So they went ahead and did exactly uh, as they uh, prescribed. Is this what they're doing? Are they, are they specifically targeting places they know can't afford to fight back? Well, now we've, they've taken this campaign to a new level. They've targeted 248 jurisdictions, some big, some small, some in urban areas, some in rural areas, many with large numbers of minority voters, African Americans, Latinos, poor people. And what they've done with the 248 jurisdictions across the country that they've targeted is they've sent these letters that are designed to bully them into instituting voter purge efforts. They've sent letters suggesting to them that uh, we know and the data shows that you have ineligible people on your voter registration rolls and unless you do something now we're letting you know that we're going to sue you. Um, we think this is a travesty and so what we've done is we've taken action. We've reached out to every single one of those jurisdictions and said a few things. One, do not be bullied uh, into instituting a voter purge program because that may violate federal law, a law known as the National Voter Registration Act. Two, we said we want information showing all of your correspondence with this dangerous public interest legal foundation group. And we want you to show records uh, and provide records to us to help us confirm that you haven't purged anyone from the rolls. And then three, we've said here's what the law actually says. And if you need legal support or counsel fighting back, we're here to support you. Um, in California, Secretary of State Alex Padilla has already pushed back and said, look, uh, this group is using bad data and, a, and flawed methodology. Uh, so we know that there are many jurisdictions who are getting these letters who are in a state of paralysis, and so we're providing legal support to them to help them fight back. Folks who don't know exactly what is this group, they're, they're based out of Virginia, correct? Yes, they're, they're a Washington-based uh, group. They may also be based in Virginia. Uh, but they're led most importantly by Christian Adams, who is one of the commissioners on the president's so-called Election Integrity Commission. Christian Adams is somebody who's devoted his professional career to promoting voter suppression efforts across the country. Uh, so here he is working alongside Chris Kobach on the president's sham voting commission uh, and in the same breath leading the work of this foundation that has now uh, launched this unprecedented national campaign that is designed to bully election, in, uh, election officials into, into instituting voter purge programs in their communities. Should I go to my iPad? This is a photo of Christian Adams. I just wanted folks to know. And so what, 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 this, what this guy's doing along with others, again, uh, they are specifically trying to to whack folks from the voting rolls because they want to set this thing up to do exactly what took place in 2016. Uh, nearly 200,000 people were affected by voter suppression in Wisconsin. Uh, Trump barely wins Wisconsin. So the exact thing, same thing happened in Pennsylvania with their voter ID there as well. I mean, I keep saying that this is really official Republican Party policy across the country, how they are trying to suppress the voting rights, not just of African Americans and Latinos, but also young people and elderly people and That's the poor. Right. That's right. This is part of a coordinated campaign that we're seeing across the country to make it harder for people to vote and participate. What we've seen under this administration is Jeff Sessions has brought federal voting rights enforcement to a grinding halt. We've seen Trump launch this sham voting commission, and now we're seeing folks like Christian Adams who are promoting these efforts across the country to bully election officials into purging people from the voter rolls. People need to pay attention uh, and definitely stay vigilant and speak up. 
Uh, one of the things that we're doing at the Lawyers Committee for Civil Rights Under Law is fighting to make sure that everyone is able to vote. And we want people to report problems to 1-866-OUR-VOTE. Um, voter purge programs are part of a long uh, and you know dir old dirty tactic that we've seen to purge and hurt the rights of African Americans, Latinos, students, and the elderly. Um, if people get evidence or signs that election officials are purging people from the roles in their community, we need them to speak up uh, so that um, we can be vigilant and on top of it and, to, and fight back. Eugene. What can everyday folk do on a, on a daily basis? I mean, this is a it's a war. It's a full-on fight. Um, you know, I don't believe in voter suppression. I think, you know. A full-on fight that this legal group, this right-wing group, is funded yeah. by billionaire conservatives. Uh, and again, th this is a coordinated effort. I mean, they, I mean they, on their side, they've got billionaires who are funding this. So we need billionaires to step up? No, I'm, I'm, I'm just saying, I, 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 I'm, no, 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 what I'm saying no. is I need, I need the people at home to understand that these groups, uh, of, you know, for instance, uh, there was a group that supported Neil Gorsuch on the Supreme Court. One donor, who we have no idea who it was, gave $25 million to run ads to specifically get Neil Gorsuch on the Supreme Court. $25 million. And so that, that's what you have here. Robert Mercer, billionaire, him and his daughter, they've been funding Breitbart and Milo and Steve Bannon. And so what I'm saying is, for those people who, who, who are supportive of civil rights, understand that when you talk about a war, yeah. these are folks who are funding a war. That's right. And they are serious. Mm -hmm. Absolutely. Absolutely. So uh, I, I think, one, I want to ask how much of an integral part is the purging process inside of having an effective registration base in these municipalities, but even places <coughs> like Philadelphia where you have 16, 17 percent voter turnout, is this an opportunity for us to educate voters and really as they're trying to purge, we should be adding on Absolutely. voters into a registration. Absolutely. In fact, officials bear responsibility right. for making sure that they're reaching out to not yet registered people in their communities and that they're adding them onto the rolls. It's not just the public who bears that mm -hmm. responsibility. So to come back to your question about what ordinary folks can do, pick up the phone and call your local election official and say, what are you doing to raise the rate of voter participation and turnouts here in our community? Right. And, and are you taking efforts unnecessarily to purge people from the rolls? Are you turning data over to this dangerous sham voting commission that the president has launched? Um, we need to push officials, uh, you know, and hold them to a higher standard of accountability. And if, if we do that, we should be pushing them to raise voter turnout rates uh, in communities all across the country. I mean, are you able, though, to replace? Do you know the number of purges versus the number of re-registrations? We don't know, but again, you know, they, they sent this letter to 248 jurisdictions, and the end goal is to get them, it's to bully them yeah. into putting in place voter purge programs. Every election official has a responsibility to clean their roles and to make sure that their roles are updated. But what this commission, what this uh, foundation has done is they've used bad data and flawed methodology to say that we know you have ineligible people on the rolls in their community. And there is a federal law, the National Voter Registration Act, that prohibits precisely what this foundation seeks to do, which is to push officials unnecessarily to strip, to purge uh, legitimately registered voters off the rolls in their community. And just for folks to remember, also the Supreme Court will be hearing a case uh, where in Ohio, if you miss one election, you're automatically removed from the voting rolls. Right. Again, that's <laughs> how, which is which is one of the reasons why I've, I've been trying to get uh, the ACL unions, other folks, uh, to help State Representative Alicia Reese out with her Ohio Voter Bill of Rights that would put put a put and would put the right to vote in the state constitution yeah. right. that would protect from this kind of stuff. And, and I just need people to understand that this is that the efforts that we see at play here are extremely deliberate and they literally are sitting in meetings they are strategizing trying to figure out how to slash 
five, ten, twenty, thirty, fifty thousand here, here, and here right. in order to win elections. That's right. Um, this Supreme Court case is incredibly important. Um, Ohio has put in place another voter purge program. This kind of use it or lose it. I mean, you know, the right to vote is sacred. Yeah. And when people overcome the hurdles that sometimes stand in the way of getting onto the registration rolls, we need to be doing everything in our power to make sure that people are able to hold on to that power and have the ability to exercise that right to vote uh, when, when they're ready and prepared to. Uh, but Roland, you're exactly right. This is part of a dangerous, coordinated campaign that we're seeing across our country. I think that we had a moment of excitement in the air earlier this month. Uh, you know, a lot of people turned out for uh, local and state contests happening in their community uh, this November. We need to make sure that people stay vigilant, stay woke, um, the battle is not over. They are working hard to strip us off the rolls, uh, and we have to fight back. All right, Kristen, we appreciate it. Thanks so much. Uh, and how can folks give to support the Lawyers Committee? There is a lot of dark money on the other side, and we do need people to step up and support the efforts of organizations like the Lawyers Committee for Civil Rights Under Law that are fighting tirelessly to protect the right to vote, to support our organization, and we've got Giving Tuesday coming up. Visit lawyerscommittee.org, click that donate button, help us fight to protect the right to vote. All right, we appreciate it. Thanks so much. Thank you. Weekdays on TV One. I will never lie to you. Oh my God. Roland Martin. He doesn't want to talk to us, he wants to ignore us. Uncensored. Hell no. no. That ain't gonna cut it, boo. Unapologetic. No, no, that, that is fundamentally false. You are wrong. Unfiltered. He wants an America where we all look alike. He ain't talking about black people. Unrelenting. You better go work out, because you got to fight on your hands. News One Now with Roland Martin, weekdays at 7 a.m. on TV One.